I once had it all. My palate was sated, nostrils stimulated, standing venerated. And one day, you took everything away but shame and pain. I'm still not sure what game you're playing, but I'm back. Taking what's mine. It made me think of your poem. Congratulations. Look, I'm aware of the rat's presence, okay? But nothing can be done about it. They've been on this island as long as anyone can remember. It's in our best interest to leave them be. Dear, congratulations once again on winning our competition. Let us repeat, your submission astonished us, and we are delighted to welcome you in our hermitage. Make yourself at home. The whole lighthouse is at your disposal. The author of the winning essay will receive an opportunity to write the book on the subject in our lighthouse, accommodated especially for this purpose. Huh? Whole lighthouse is at your disposal. My ass! I'm an adult, Mama. Crippled or not, I can take care of myself now. It's time for you to focus on yourself. I can't wait to read that book. Love you. Your... Hello? I received the word that you came to the lighthouse. Find everything to your liking. Well, that was fast. Yeah, I'm here. I'm very pleased to hear it. Now, are you writing? What? You must understand, Mrs. It is imperative that you start your work as soon as possible. 
I will remind you that you signed a contract. Uh -huh. no, it is very specific on the timeline. Uh, I would advise you abide by it. Goodbye. Now that was a conversation I was too sober for. Our sources say 428 entries have been submitted to the agency. The entry that won was surprising, to say the least. It wasn't a scholar who won it, nor someone with proper education that would give him an understanding of life. It was a sensationalist, a horror writer, and... Might as well make some good use of the phone while I'm here. Hello? Hi, darling. I'm calling to let you know I'm here. Can you believe the agency already called to see if I was working? That's insane. Did you at least have time to settle in a bit? How's the lighthouse? Inspiring? Spooky? Haunted? All of these things. I was just looking around and it's... certainly something. How are you? Do the meds work? Don't you worry about me, Mama. This is your time to do your work. To live your life. <gasps> well, maybe you're right. I should probably get to it then. Bye, son. Love you. Love you too, Mama. I know how you must feel. Lost. Alone. Hopeless. You probably deserve it. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Finish it. to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialists, as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. All of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of a rodent infestation of any kind, and as such, decided not to act further than a prophylactic spraying. Please treat this letter as a final warning. 
or else, the next envelope you'll receive will be from our lawyers. I didn't touch the workshop, just like you asked. Although, I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Hell, did they fuck up the length? Some call him the new Caravaggio, others compare him to Van Eyck, and one awestruck critic who wished to remain unnamed went as far as to invoke, quote, the spirit of the great Leonardo. Any way you slice it, the exhibition proved an immense success. Its distinct style has been praised for its unique combination of Renaissance influences and more progressive techniques. The artist himself attended the event in the company of his beautiful fiancé, looking stunning in her black gown revealed to us exclusively that the couple are indeed expected. Figured you'd be up all night, so I made you a little treat. 
You know, I bet even Rembrandt occasionally took time off from being brilliant and snored his head off like the rest of us common folk. I know! <gasps> In other words, get some sleep, you big dummy. Oh. same house for God's sake. Come talk to me when you're done, before you go to sleep. The long-awaited opening of the Galactic Department store turned into hell on Earth when the building's wiring burst into flames. While the majority of the visitors managed to reach the emergency exits in time, several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building, having no chance to escape the raging inferno. The exact number of casualties has not yet been determined, although it is estimated that at least a dozen people have been severely injured. The owner of the Galactic, Ronald Sheffield, has so far declined the comment on today's tragic events. Let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some rough times right now. I really do. That's why I've agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place. For old time's sake. I even deliberately gave you a trivial task. Because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There is no way in hell I'm using this, and I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please, get your shit together.
Why pink? This is private. Two souls, so passionate, so talented, and yet they wanted to build something so ordinary. A home, a wife, a family, peaceful life, betrayal of everything that made them both artists, and yet they clung to it. We are truly thrilled to hear that you accepted our humble proposition. After discussing dates with my colleague, we find this date the best time to open the exhibition. We need time to set everything up. Getting a piano to our gallery will be no small feat. to make a good painting. The work doesn't start with the brush. Just like family doesn't start with marriage. It starts with canvas. Now, a tiny bit to the left. Yes, just like that. Hold that pose. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. <laughs> Thank you. 
I think I have the music for all the paintings now. I'm going to play it for you this evening. You're going to love it. Sorry I haven't written in a while. I've been swarmed with work. I gotta tell you, your last letter was... troubling, to say the least. I just can't believe she would set fire to your old paintings. Why would she do that? The Lady in Black especially? That was your tribute to her, wasn't it? I don't know what to tell you except to get her some professional help pronto. You could probably talk to someone as well. With all that's happened, I'm sure it would do you some good. I probably don't need to tell you that the buyer was sorely disappointed with the news. The new pieces just aren't selling as well as the classics. Anyway, I'll keep looking. You just hang in there and focus on your work. I know you still have it in you. I believe in you. Place just wasn't enough to warm this room. Don't be scared. It's just a book, Bertie. This is fine. This is good. Th these are great conditions. I can finish it. I can. I will. I need to. For all our sins. For our family. For our family? Or just for you? Go on. Tip the scales. Paint.
had the most beautiful dream last night. I dreamt he came to me, embraced me, loved me, as he once did. But we both know that while I dreamed my silly little dream, it was you. It was you he really lusted for. Don't worry, you're not alone. Perfect relationships may look great on the silver screen, but the rest of us mortals have to face the simple truth. Nobody's perfect. And you know what? That's fine. In fact, many loving couples struggle with day-to-day -day life in a relationship. This does not make them any less special. It just takes some work. And we're here to help. Our consultants, all trained experts in their field, will help you identify the source of your troubles and deal with it at your own pace. Whether it's simple miscommunication, money problems, or conflicting personalities, where there's a problem, there's always a solution. And remember, it's never too late. have a new set. Less flashy this time. You were right, it works better. I can't wait for this opening. I've never dreamed of making art together with you. Here we are, and it's all I could have wanted. And two people who once loved each other so fully, so profoundly, drift so far apart. My husband barely speaks to me anymore. He just slithers in and out of his study, obsessively working on one veiled painting after another. He won't even sleep with me anymore. I can tell he's disgusted by me. The look he gave me the other day. That pathetic, hurtful look. A combination of shame, guilt, and repulsion. <laughs> I've come to realize that I've become a monster in my husband's eyes. It feels like nothing a woman should ever experience. Still, being the good wife that I am, I decided to realize my husband's fantasy. 
If he thinks me a monster, I will sure as hell act the part. Watch him drown. Dear sir or madam, we must kindly, albeit strongly, urge you to keep your voices down during the night. Your marital problems, while regrettable, are a private matter and should remain that way. They are certainly of no concern to us, and especially our children. Please, consider that not everyone is a freelance artist. Some of us have to get up early and work for a living. We need our sleep. We must also warn you that if things continue the way they are now, we will be forced to call the police. My home is my castle. Locked inside, I am safe.
What we witness today, while entirely worthless in artistic terms, might be an invaluable case study for psychologists. These harsh words came from none other than Jason Hughes. The famed critic was one of the first to appreciate the works of and whose praise once contributed to his first spectacular success. When asked if such brutal criticism was indeed called for, especially in light of the recent tragic events, Hughes responded, quote, As critics, it is our duty to critique art, but not to judge the artist. The man has been through a lot lately, and obviously it has taken its toll on him. Still, if we were to remain silent and pretend this is even remotely acceptable, we would be doing the artist a disservice. Other critics were only slightly more lenient, as the... In an unexpected experimental streak in his usually conservative endeavors, Thomas Caldwell hosted an extraordinary exhibition opening in his gallery. Quote, This is a great day for me and my wife, said in the opening speech. Quote, For us, this is not only an exhibition, this is how we want to live our life. This music accompanies my paintings just as she will accompany me in the future. It is rumored that after the exhibition, some kind of arrangement was set between Caldwell and... The thought alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, will you marry me? Have a responsibility. Finish it. Anyone can paint on a linen canvas. I am not anyone. First, I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady.
Bring me back. Might not be a household name yet, but just give her time. The incredibly talented, multi-instrumentalist gave an astounding performance last night, winning over even the most ardent naysayers. Quote, She was simply astounding. I haven't seen such passion, energy, and skill in years. Stated famed pianist Daniel Richter. He was not alone in his praise. It seems even Anthony Giles, one of his harshest critics, has finally seen the light. Giles had previously made disparaging comments about the artist, stating, quote, there's more to performing music than enthusiasm in a pretty face. When asked if, after witnessing last night's performance, he regrets these words, Mr. Giles gave us a look that can only be described as a mixture of awe and embarrassment. Pressed for an answer, he simply said, yes. We caught up with the star. had the most beautiful dream last night. I dreamt he came to me, embraced me, loved me, as he once did. But we both know that while I dreamed my silly little dream, it was you, it was you he really lusted for.
strengths, drawn to the fire between them. No matter if it the flame was desire, despair, or hate. I hereby resign from service as maiden. House. Sweating and shaking all night, and, and now there you are locked in your workshop as usual. This whole tortured artist nonsense has got to stop. the fire in your office just to stop me, don't you? You hate me that much? Don't push me away. means of escape. Suddenly everything I find relaxing is a fire hazard. Flames, finish it. Here are the calculations you asked for. You need to also include the cost of lamps for every room. I don't care how much it costs. She's afraid of fire. We will have electricity, and that is that. about the symbolic aspects of your work. I'd rather not. Why is that? A symbolism is a word that gets thrown around a lot, usually when people don't really know what to make of you. The, the worst question you could possibly ask me is, what did you mean by that? If it was that simple, I wouldn't have painted it. I would have just told you. Of course, we can talk in general about themes that have always inspired me. Duality, conflict. I think that all art revolves around some sort of struggle. Whether or not we're able to see it, of course, is, is an entirely different matter. Color. The life of painting. The soul. I need it. I need it 
to be perfect, striking, vibrant, life, 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 life fire! Calculations you asked for. You need to also include the cost of lamps for every room. been a while. It took me six months to be able to hold a pen again. Six long and painful months. But I finally did it. It still hurts, but the pain is just bearable enough for me to jot down a few lines. Oh, the things we take for granted. Wow, that's deep. I think I better rest some more before I put ancient philosophers to shame. I mean, I've seen you in my house so many times, and yet I could never find the courage to face you directly. Not until now. Getting smart.
You've always wanted to have a huge garden. Green calmed your nerves, you said. Is this the right door for me? No accidents, no weakness. Just fire from the depths of your soul. Finish it! up today. I'm resigning from work at this house. I think I don't have to explain my reasons. You know how life in this house looks. If I could give you some advice, think about being more understanding and a bit nicer to future servants. I'm done. I'll do it myself. Keeping the house from breaking apart can't be that hard. Understand, I'm working in here. I swear, if I'm interrupted one more time. I thought it would be harder. It should be harder. Bones shouldn't break so easily. Thank <laughs> you. 
only thing that could make her smile. Honey, what in the world are you doing? What did the doctor say about straining yourself? Leave that thing alone. It's not going anywhere. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. Their life started to fall apart. Everything he touched turned to rot. Good, solid undercoat. A primer that will hold it all together so it doesn't rot. The world is breaking around us.
Don't leave me. While I can certainly understand that you are upset, and I have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself, I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe we have done the best job possible considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion, and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will ameliorate the situation. As I've already stated, I can certainly understand you've been under a lot of stress as of late, and thus I will not press charges if you refrain from any further correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, I can have my assistant provide contact information for several specialists who would be more than competent to help you get through these hard times. I'm terribly sorry for your inconvenience, but we've seen no fluctuations of power in your area. And see no issues in the neighborhood. And since you didn't allow entry to our electricians, uh, we cannot help you in any way.
defy simple words, let alone critique. A basic knowledge of the subject is an absolute must if one is to even try taming them. Babyface is one such painting. This art anomaly draws tens of thousands of mediocrity enthusiasts and Sunday abstraction aficionados. In reality, it looks like a result of a week-long art marathon of a not very well-adjusted painter locked in a dark basement. Leaving aside the horrible execution, the painting excels in a hideous. can put it between the books. You'll never find it there. through ashes, such determination, such blindness. Hello? Hello. Yes, speak. Yes. What? 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 what fire? fire? Oh, God. God. Is she... she... Which hospital? Which hospital? I I'm on my way. I won't let go. I won't let my passion decay. I can't. I would never. I will finish it.
If I am to be honest, I can't say your letter was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you had previously sought their advice in this matter, and while it is perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion, I would think 16 concurring opinions would be enough. Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I have examined the case thoroughly, and I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. What you refer to as a freakish grin, or an unnerving yelp, though many would find such expressions hurtful, could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mention do not seem to be physiological, but rather purely psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress, and that is nothing to be ashamed of. As to your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand that what she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure. It is a long, arduous process that will require all your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program. This thing, this family, won't work. If you keep undermining me, it will break apart. Done. Found his little collection of empty bottles this morning. I reacted... <laughs> badly. I, I know it's hard for him too, but... God damn it, he should know better. With a small child in the house. Oh, that's just irresponsible.
Fire! The lamps are so... cold. This light is still light. Insane with those candles. You will burn. We have electricity.
Without it, I'm broken. I have to finish it. All right, let's try this again. Finally managed to play a little. If banging on the keys awkwardly counts as playing. I won't lie. It drives me insane not to have full control of my fingers. In any case, I was promptly berated by my loving husband, who said I should be resting. I know he means well. But how will I ever get better if I don't work at it? The worst thing is, I could swear I smelled liquor on his breath. Oh, God, please. Not this again. I needed a jar and a plastic tubing. I siphoned gas before. I knew how it was done. I stuck the tube in a vein and sucked on it until blood filled my mouth. Then put the tube in the jar and it just kept coming. The taste of copper haunted me the entire night. Why didn't I think of a syringe? How the hell did they fuck up the length?
Been working all night. Don't wake me up. Honey, what in the world are you doing? What did the doctor say about straining yourself? Leave that thing alone. It's not going anywhere. She named it Mr. Quiet. Mr. Quiet is her favorite toy. He never screams, she told me. He never makes a sound. Protect her! Daddy's here.
all changed when the daughter was born. Wow. The reward for the most cliche line goes to me. So, I'm here. For a place belonging to a posh-ass agency. This is weird. If they wanted to have a decor that corresponds with story, they succeeded. It's dark, there are rats, and it's weird paintings. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I felt like it was some fucked up experiment. Especially since the man called to check if I'm working soon after I entered. <laughs> I heard a strange noise when I was about to start writing. But it turned out that it were only rats. I think. I thought I saw later. I called to let him know I'm here. He always cheers me up. Don't ride city buses. This is your chance to end segregation. Children change every... Reach for your own experience. I know what it is to be a parent. What changes with a child? Channel it! We had an agreement, a deadline that you prolonged for the third time now. If you don't finish this screenplay, someone else will. Here, son. It'll help with the pain. Come on! What happened to you when your daughter was born? Tell me!
all changed when the daughter was born. So, I'm here. Or a place. Doctor? No. It, it's dark in here. I'm scared. Mom, it's night. I think you just had a bad dream. Everything will be okay in the morning. I imagine the lighthouse gets lonely, but come on. It's you who wanted to go there. No, you don't understand. It's dark. It's awful, and I can't write. Everything is... Hello? Hello? Fuck! Now that's no way to greet your muse. What your surprise? Creation isn't pretty. You pushed a human being into the world, and now you need to do the same with a book. I'm here to help you with that. How? How? She asks. <laughs> the same way I helped the painter, the musician, and the actor. All you have to do is choose. Your voice will be heard. It won't. It never is. to use it. Say it. I do. I choose your help. Then it is done. Hello? Oh, thank God you're okay. What happened? Uh, what do you mean? I, uh... You were scared, and the call was cut off, and... Oh, that? That's nothing. The generator died. It's fine now. Oh. Okay. I guess that's good. How do you feel? You sounded upset. I'm worried. I'm good. Mm, but... I'm good, son. It's as you said, I'm exactly in the place I wanted to be. Are you? Yes, I'm sure. I need to get back to work. Good night. Love you. between them, no matter if it the flame was desire, despair, or hate.
tried to pull himself together. <laughs> Sweet Jesus! Did you just buy half of the department store? Honey, you don't even know yet if it's gonna be a boy or a girl. Sometimes, you must be in the dark to see. be herself. I am such an idiot to think that someone like me could ever compete with you in all your sublime beauty, everlasting, immortal. Even though you've not been born yet, I can already feel your presence. It's simply amazing. I just can't believe how lucky I am. A year ago, all I had was talent and ambition. Now, against all odds, I have a career, a loving husband, and you. I've never been a deeply religious person. I guess what other people look for in a sermon, 
I found in perfecting my art. But now, I can't help but feel like there's a higher power watching over me. They once told me that I would never succeed as a musician. Now, I'm playing sold-out concerts at some of the most prestigious venues in the country. They also said I had a difficult character and that I would never find a soulmate. Guess again? Finally, a doctor once told me that I would never be able to have children of my own. And yet, here you are, within me. I am quite possibly the happiest woman in the world. I love you so much. <laughs> As for your question, my sister tells me that Anne Blackwood is an extraordinary childminder. From what I saw, she deserves such praise.
Do you stand to win? What's so funny? You beat me again. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder why I even bother. My little bird loved this game. Peace and quiet to work. Is that too much to ask? This house is not a playground! <laughs> Your child is barely two years old. It's absolutely normal that she doesn't talk yet. It's not the nanny's fault, and no, stimulating your daughter's mind by reading her Nietzsche is not a good idea. For God's sake. I know she adores that toy, but I don't know. Something about it is very unsettling. Maybe it's the way she plays with it. She's not a happy child, but shows sometimes when she plays. It breaks my heart to see it. Precious. 
soft as a child's hair. Is this supposed to be funny? If she really endangered your child, then yes. I should have let her express herself.
Earlier today, a typical quiet and peaceful neighborhood witnessed a scene straight out of a crime drama as social services accompanied by armed police officers descended upon the residence of a once famous painter and a recent widower. Apparently, the man had broken into a children's care center downtown and absconded with one of the young patients. Our sources claimed that the girl was in fact the culprit's daughter, who had previously been removed from his care after a family court ruling. After unsuccessful attempts at negotiation, fearing that the man might harm the child, police officers stormed the building and apprehended the suspect. Eyewitnesses claimed that as the paramedics escorted the girl out of the house, the man, still in handcuffs, fell to his knees and repeatedly exclaimed, Please, she's all I have left. A truly tragic turn. What day is it? 
It's Sunday? You mean I... Oh, well, why didn't you come and get me? God damn it! You know how I get when I'm caught up in my work! Near the blueberry bush by the Emerald Creek.
be an example. Finish it! Finish. This was a special brush, like a horsehair brush, but different. At that point, I hesitated. Will this really work? Fuck it. I was already halfway through, and besides, it's not like I can just put it all back and forget the whole thing. He simply wasn't enough. Art is beauty, writes a painter recognized widely for his talent a few years back. These painters, as they call themselves, either forgot what beauty is or decided to insult it. Waste of paint, waste of talent, waste of time.
is not about watching. It's about feeling. With all senses, every part of your body. It's the only way to understand it. The only way to eliminate doubt. It is no wonder that an old star rebels against the light of the sun that outshines it. Truth is, his paintings have been bland and overly conventional for many years now. They don't evoke feelings. They don't say anything important. They are, at best, pleasant to look at. Art shouldn't be pleasant. It should be world-changing. I loved him the most when he lost himself. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. While this is true of many works of art, sometimes the words that come to mind are hardly flattering. Babyface is one such painting. This artistic anomaly continues to inspire thousands of mediocrity enthusiasts, when in fact, it is little more than a sideshow attraction. Frankly, this is hardly even art. It's merely a doodle. It's what you get when you lock a not very well adjusted painter in a dark basement for a week. Even putting aside the flawed execution, the painting is still deplorable. You left me alone. malcontents.
Judging by the silence that has now fallen over the house, I can safely assume that he's finally passed out. Undoubtedly, surrounded by empty bottles and tattered pieces of canvas that have become his preferred bedfellows. Every time it happens, I pray it will be the last. I pray fervently, passionately. Our Lord in heaven, let him crack his head open and the rot spew out. Let him cut his wrist on the glass and the red bile flow. Let him choke on his own vomit so that we may all find peace. For if you don't, one day I will find the courage to walk down the steps and end him myself. You of all should know. It's not the lack of will that stays my hand. Safe here. Don't believe me. Oil's texture is everything. You'll love it. I don't doubt it. He's on about the damn rats again. 
I don't think I've even seen one. But that doesn't stop him from laying out traps all over the place. He claims he can hear them in the walls, and that there must be hundreds of them. God, I fucking hope it's true. I hope they crawl out at night and eat you in your sleep. You cruel. Self-obsessed. Pathetic. Drunk. And so our agreement, although fruitful, must come to an end. We seek someone who understands modern art a little bit better, who is able to engage with it. And you, sir, don't seem to be that person anymore. Your reactions to other reviews and letters from our readers don't encourage further collaboration. Hates it. I have to make it perfect. Oh, that's a good question, Peter. In fact, that is a very common misconception. Some people think it's just about putting paint on canvas, but they're wrong. I believe that every detail must exist in the mind of the artist before the first stroke is made. The process itself is more about following these preconceived steps rather than just going crazy with the brush. Personally, I have always perceived it as a ritual. A ritual? Sounds ominous. Not necessarily, though I will admit it carries a certain risk in order to create. The artist must first deconstruct himself, figuratively speaking, of course. If the artist succeeds, what most people see as mere tools of the trade will become the implements of his ascension. Holy artifacts. I wouldn't go that far. Art is often quite beautiful, but the process behind it, rarely so. Practicing. I don't care what he thinks about it. I'm not myself without music.
finish it or die trying. Finish it if it kills you. Don't let the doubt get you.
Art is not about watching, it's about feeling, with all senses, every part of your body. It's the only way to understand it, the only way to eliminate doubt. Only I could help him. Only I can help you.
You deserve this. All of it. All of it. I needed something to add the... How should I put it? Final touches. A finger. I needed a finger. Chopped it off. Easier than sawing a leg. Washed it. Dried it in an oven. Fell asleep. Almost burned it. Will I manage to pull this off? Honey, what in the world are you doing? What did the doctor say about straining yourself? Leave that thing alone. It's not going anywhere. Fuck up the link! This is private. What he needed was a sharp focus. He had to finish it. In any case, as your lawyer, I advise you to refrain from any imprudent actions. In other words, don't do anything stupid. We still have a chance of winning this. Believe it or not, I've gotten clients out of deeper shit than this. Just don't make it any worse. Lay low for a while and let me appeal the court order. This social worker definitely has it in for you. We can use that to our advantage. Portray you as a victim of the system. A husband in mourning, a momentary lapse of reason, an overzealous bureaucrat. Trust me, this is our best option. Considering what you've been through lately, I'd say we have a good 50-50 chance of a good outcome. But not if you keep trying to convince everyone that you've gone completely insane. 
No more outbursts. No more rambling. Uh, better yet, no public appearances whatsoever. You can still get your daughter, though. Home sweet home. Auditorium is ready. Why would I need that? Are you insane? Don't forget. Finish. Finish. Nothing will stop me from finishing it. Just finish it. You mind explaining this to me? I know what it is. Care to tell me how it got in my workshop? Stop lying! We both know it couldn't have gotten there on its own. Right! Just one more can and be ready. Look at you. Who's a dead boy? Who's a dead boy? You are. Oh, 
leave me? If I have to kill to be able to work, I will! I need to finish it! Have to see it. It won't be finished until you see it. To create is to reach into chaos, and chaos is darkness. Warm, soft, swarming. He understood it in the end. Will you? I shouldn't try to contain my art in the workshop. The world is my canvas. The work is never finished. Go. This isn't right. Let go. To find great you. It's you who brought this chaos upon us.
Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The horror ran down. Hickory Dickory Dock. <laughs> I'm useless. What have I become? My own body is a cage. A weak child is to be eaten, not nurtured. You think yourself an artist? I believe in you. Please! I need you. We'll get through this. I trust you. Yes, things are better now. I think we can make this work. I really do. You know, even though you are my rival and the source of all my sorrows, you're also the only one I can still talk to. The only one who will listen. I'm not sure if it's funny or merely pathetic. <laughs> Probably both. had the most beautiful dream last night. I dreamt he came to me, embraced me, loved me, as he once did. But we both know that while I dreamed my silly little dream, it was you, it was you he really lusted for. God, I am such an idiot. To think that someone like me could ever compete with you in all your sublime beauty, everlasting. Immortal. My love. I wish I could do what all mothers do and tell you that monsters aren't real. But it wouldn't be true. Life can create things of exquisite beauty. But it can also twist them into hideous beings. Selfish, violent, grotesque, monstrous. It hurts me to say that your father has turned into one such monster. And I'm afraid the disease that afflicted his mind has taken hold of me as well. It sickens me to think what we've put you through. There is no excuse. I only ask of you, though I know I do not have the right to do so, to try and forgive us. I despise what your father has become. But I love and pity him all the same. I only hope you can find it in your heart to feel the same about him. About me. I wish I could see you blossom into a strong, beautiful woman. I wish I could be there for you. But I can't. This is the only way. Goodbye. I think 
I should be happy. Why am I not happy? I have a beautiful daughter. I think she is. I know she is. So why can't I look at her without feeling sick? I used to have a loving husband. Wonderful, sensitive. Now, all I see is this strange man who only cares about his paintings. Like they matter at all. It's all so pointless. Music used to help. Doesn't anymore. What is taking so long? Open this fucking door! I need to go! Open up! Hell is... Oh, God. No. No, 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 What have you done? No! I finally figured it out. And it's all thanks to you. You've showed me that there's no other way to go. Your sad smile confirms what should have been obvious. We will not speak again. Finally, someone had to bear witness. I couldn't just look at my own work. Art and the artist needed an audience. 
a critical eye on things. I knew what I had to do. I gouged it. Scooped it up like ice cream. Felt like a butcher. A monster. At least there was to come something beautiful from all this filth. It hurts. Why did you do it? You wanted me to die. Not to go by yourself. Bring me back.
I didn't know how to tell you that your scars don't mean anything to me. But I still want to love you. Show me. We weren't good parents, were we? We tried so hard, but it just wasn't meant to be. Protect her! Things you could do with that. Such a power coming from your fingertips. Even the most delicate brush of any key made the world stop. All gone. I was just worried, you know? Help me. say about it? How will you end his story? I used to hate you. Not anymore. I think, even now, in spite of everything, I still might love you. You see, I finally understand. I know how you must feel. Lost. Alone. It took me a while, but I finally realized, even with us, you've always been alone. 
I recognize that now as the quintessential part of your being. And I admit hoping we could become a true part of your life was a grave error on my part. A grotesque misunderstanding. Still, if we're to make any sense of all this, if any of this ever mattered to you, for us, Yes, that's it, my love. I am so, so sorry. No, it's a lie. It's always been a lie. It won't bring them back. I see it now. I know what must be done. believe in the end. He knew that one can't make art. A true art. Without cracks, without breaks, and without pain. Uh, I don't know what happened. I struggle with the part where daughter enters the scene. Too close to home? No. It's this place. This fucking island. This lighthouse. I was afraid and called. The generator died. I went to restart it. I know it happened. And then, maybe I was high? Or I actually saw my muse and had a conversation with her. Called later. But I didn't have time for it. I knew what to write. The block was gone. I knew how to finish this book. It was done. He finished it. Or did he? Maybe, deep in his heart, he longed for them. For any presence other than his own. I wanted to thank you for this book. Uh, I've been struggling with my vocation as an artist, and uh, reading about struggles helped me greatly in arriving at a decision.
My palate was sated, nostrils stimulated, standing, venerated. It was never true, was it? Even before the debts of desperation, when the book became a hit, I already knew what I lost. I knew who she took from me. Ten years is a lot of time for a person to fail, to hit the bottom, to explore it, and to find the darkest secrets of their craft. I'm coming back there. up here after the ship sank but Despite our previous reminders, the above amount due remains unpaid. We regret to inform you that unless payment is received by... This matter will be passed over to our debt collection agency. favorite wine. I thought it fitted the occasion. Matt, sad man. I'm at your precious lighthouse. Yes, I am aware of that. Don't interrupt me. I'm at the lighthouse, and I know how to hurt your precious queen. I know how to break that pact. So either you bring him back, or I'll show you what I can do with words. I will warn you that it is a fruitless endeavor. I don't give a fuck about your warnings. I will destroy her. I will get him back. I will write my own story. Congratulations on your comeback. We are delighted that after a decade, you still remember about our hermitage. Make yourself at home. I mean, after all, it is the only one you have. What the fuck?
When I was a child, I used to lay in bed late at night, staring at the ceiling, listening to my father scream. Scream at my mother, scream at yet another failed masterpiece. Finally, just scream out into the darkness. It became my lullaby. And even when they took me away, the screams followed. I was once told that insanity runs in my family. It's time to make it stop. in here. I swear, that dog doesn't shut up! <laughs> what? Quit looking at me like that. That dog is there for a reason. Oh, all right. You can let him out. For now. Still life. <coughs> this place is a mess. I can hear you in there. I'm coming, you furry little bastards. You're not getting away this time. My beloved, I've been thinking about what happened. I've been trying to understand. My dear, <laughs> help me. I just don't understand. Why would you do it? Did you feel like there was no other way? Tell me, God damn it! What did I do to deserve this? I did my best. You know I did! I gave you everything! Selfish fucking whore! Why would you do this to, to us? I wonder when was the last time this place saw sunlight?
Oh, the summer trees. So green and vibrant and full of life, but also young and inexperienced. Let's try to find them a more poignant season, where they are wiser and have some stories to tell. Yes, the autumn of life, when man seeks shelter from the elements. Let's see how our little hut fares when the skies grow dark. See? In the end, all we take for granted is fragile and temporary. Man passes while nature endures. Speaking of which, I don't think our proud stallion likes the weather. Let's brighten things up a bit.
No! A wet rag won't do us any good! No! A wet rag won't do us any good!
That's right. The sun bestows its kind rays upon the land. It's getting warmer and warmer until finally. Marvelous, isn't it? I know it seems like a tragedy, but a beautiful tragedy is always better than an unremarkable existence. In his own way, I believe he meant well. He wanted me to excel, hoping that when the time came, I would succeed where he failed. Avoid his mistakes. God knows he made plenty of those. Dear friend, today, before I leave for my new appointment, I intend to make one final attempt to communicate with you. Since you have obviously decided not to answer my calls or letters, I shall endeavor to speak with you in person. If you're reading this, then I have clearly failed, and for that I apologize. Should you choose to ignore me, I will slip this letter under your door. Hopefully you can at least read it, for all time's sake. If me knocking on the door has caused you any discomfort, please know that that was not my intent. I wish I could tell you that I've found some miracle solution to your problem, but unfortunately, such is not the case. Do know that as your legal representative, I always did my best and that is the God's honest truth. Unfortunately, I feel that the issues you're struggling with go way beyond my expertise. At this point, I once again feel the urge to ask you to reconsider seeking professional help, but let's be honest, if you were to listen to me, you would have done it a long time ago. I regret it had to end this way. Know that you and your family will always be in my thoughts. Your old friend, James Jerome Sadler, Attorney at Law. wrong with this thing? Shall we continue? Right. Whatever happens, just keep looking at me and listen. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. The princess was all alone in the dark. And yet, she felt that the evil witch was lurking nearby. As her eyes adjusted to the darkness, she saw something moving in the corner of her eye. And yet, she did not dare to move, for she knew that that would be the end of her. <gasps> the princess heard a fearsome growl. The witch had unleashed her familiar, the hellhound. The monster sniffed at the air, its perky ears wearing of even the slightest sound. The princess remained motionless, letting the monster pass. There was a stillness in the air. 
The princess breathed a sigh of relief. For a moment, it seemed like the worst was behind her. And yet she knew that it was not over. There was still danger nearby, waiting for her slightest move. Frozen in terror, she kept looking straight ahead. Suddenly, she heard a terrifying cackle. It was the evil witch herself. The wretched thing despised beauty and innocence, for she had neither. The hag was near, just outside of you, but our heroine didn't dare to look. She had to keep her head straight, lest she be cursed by the witch's foul magic. She could almost feel the chilling touch of the witch's hand at her neck. She felt the sudden urge to run away, but fought it with all her will, for she knew that was precisely what the witch would have wanted. And then, just like that, the chill was gone. She saw a glimmer of light over the horizon. The sun was almost upon her. It was almost dawn. It was almost over. And there. The princess stood triumphant in the sun, smiling as she... Wait, that's not right. Her face. Why is she still... scared? Oh, God. I didn't mean to... Princess... I am so sorry. It's not that he was cruel. It's just that, to him, reality was just a pale reflection of art. He was blind to the world, unless it was translated to him through a canvas. there. Oh, come on, don't be afraid. It won't bite. Here, try for yourself. Right there. Get your crayons.
Actually, not bad. Look at you, young lady. It looks like talent runs in the family.
You have to come out. She's waiting for us. Don't make me do this by myself. supposed to do now. I can't do this without you.
What was that? Oh, no. Honey, I, I need you. I need my medicine.
you. Good. At least you can still feel something. I look at you and I see nothing. Not the beautiful girl I fell in love with. Not the mother of my child. Not even the hateful monster you pretend to be. You're just empty. I look at you and I feel nothing. And it scares the hell out of me. You forgot to say how hideous I am. Go on. I know you want to. God, not that again. I know you're disgusted with me. Admit it. You're right. I am disgusted with you. But it has nothing to do with the way you look. I'm disgusted with what you let it do to you. How you let it change you. Princess. Princess, wake up. I need you to get dressed real quick. There are men coming. Some very bad men. They want to take you away from me. But I won't let them. We won't let them, will we? Yes. Now I remember. Throughout all the chaos and misery, in his own flawed and misguided way, he did love her after all. His way of expressing it was a different matter altogether. I, grasping at the remains of my sanity, declare this to be my last will and testament. I hereby deem all my previous wills just as worthless as the shallow husks calling themselves my friends and associates. To my agent, Thomas Caldwell, I bestow the hellish vermin that infest my home, praying that they will gnaw away at him endlessly, bleeding him dry just like he did to me. To my publisher, Liam Brickstone, I bequeath the flames that consume the love of my life in hopes they will devour him, along with the wretched whore and the squealing bastard he calls a family. To my lawyer, James Jerome Sadler, I pass on whatever illness has rotted my brain and soul away so that he can feel just as empty and useless as he was to me. To any other parasites that come crawling out of the woodwork, I leave nothing. To hell with all of you. Finally, to my beloved daughter, I leave all my earthly possessions for what they're worth. I hope they will inspire you to realize your true potential. The final, most precious gift, however, is not mine to give. You will have to discover that on your own. I believe in you, as I always have.
Huh. I don't remember that being there. I can hear you out there. Please, please help me. It hurts. Oh, it hurts so much. I can't take it anymore. Mm. Yes. Thank you. It's so good to feel that there's still beauty in this world. Why pink? Not how it went. Maybe. No, that's not right. What is that? <laughs> yes, that's it. Once again, implore you to give me back my daughter. Give her back! 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 Give her back!
I don't know what I expected to find. A farewell note? A final will? What I found was an apology. Expressed in the only language he ever truly knew. At that moment, I could finally see my father for what he was. A man driven insane with sadness and guilt. Trapped in this house. A nightmarish echo chamber of past mistakes and tragedies. It was this house. A place beyond hope, beyond redemption. I knew what I had to do. I had given up trying to understand my father a long time ago. But I could finally forgive him. Princess, what have you got there? Oh, that's so lovely, sweetie. But why pink? My very first memory is that of hitting a piano key. My small, chubby finger. The cold, smooth ivory under my skin. And then, acceleration. Pure joy as I heard the immediate response to my action. The sound that appeared just because I pressed that key. I'm not gonna let it go. I won't be imprisoned. I need someone to confide in, and that someone is me. You mustn't give up. You had everything any of us ever wanted. You still do. Your talent, your marriage, your daughter. Neither of these went away. The only thing the flames changed was you. You have power over yourself. Live your life. Reclaim it. Don't let your body be your cage. Hush now, my baby. I'll tell you a tale. There was a man whose world wasn't pale. There was a woman who made the world sing. And they found love the most beautiful thing. that brought light to their life, a lot of light. 
She loved her parents, her dolls, and her toys. And even Daddy wasn't mad at her noise. how I looked. It's so dark in here. Time to let the light in. Take it away, I can't look at it. And don't try to bind me again.
so I hate this, but it seems simpler than playing the violin, for now. do without you. This prison would be unbearable. What are you doing? I don't want it! Take it away! Take it away! Go on like this. I need to break free. Then, one day, there was a fire. It took from Mommy all her desires. She didn't know what to do with her life. I need someone to confide in. 
And that someone is me. Luckily, I can take refuge in music. That's when my shackles get lighter, if only for a little while. Even the gramophone helps sometimes. I feel much better after listening to some vinyls. Also seems to think it helps. If the finger you put it on has been deformed, destroyed, does the marriage even stand a chance? We thought everything we wanted to hide would fit here. How stupid we were. Today, a lock jammed in the bedroom door. I started screaming, begging anyone to open. It was a good half hour before a maid showed up. I don't understand. I lock the door in the house all the time. But something about being in a room I couldn't leave was just unbearable. Even my instruments have their prisons. Do you want to stay with me, little bird? It's safe here. Suffocating, but safe. Maybe you want to fly away into the unknown, and learn how to breathe again. Would it be better outside? My life is falling apart. Everything I touch breaks. I know it now. I'm measured. My room is shrinking every day. He paints it at night, and every morning the walls are this much closer. My prison grows smaller every day.
The painting is so bland that you have to focus to see that it's even there. Looks like the work of a person afraid to change his surroundings. Someone who's resigned and isn't willing to put himself out there. Who hates to see even his loved ones. Out and about and free. A man who will imprison his family just to stop them from getting better than him. Let me out! Whatever you say about this place, it had great acoustics. I could move souls. I could do anything I wanted with them. If I had them listening, this here, it was my place of power. Today after dinner, I tried to pick up the violin, and I just couldn't grasp the bow. The problem wasn't even holding it properly. It was holding it at all and not letting go, not screaming with pain. It's like my hands are in shackles, like every finger has its own ball and chain. I can't move them properly. She couldn't play, of course, but her dreams about music were something to behold. A painting as boring as this one could be conceived only by a person who doesn't feel or understand emotion anymore. A vile, heartless man. Locked in a bland, boring prison.
it to stop. It will. We'll look for help. Everything will be all right. No, I, I don't want more strangers to see me like this. But I can't do this alone. I'm not a doctor. There's my work. There's our daughter. There's too much for one person. Please, darling. We need help. But the medicine helps. It isn't that bad. My body will heal. I will heal. I, I just... I need to be with my loved ones. With you. Not with the doctors. We can't let that accident take our life from us. I'm so glad you're all doing well. Are you sure, though, that you should be planning a journey abroad already? Traveling can be exhausting, even in the best circumstances. Give yourself time to heal, please. I started practicing again. It isn't much, and is frustrating, but it feels good. He keeps telling me that I should be careful. I don't think he believes I can get better. I think he likes it that I'm locked here, in this house, in my body, with him having all the control. I'm trapped in this house, in this body, in my head. This is where we pretended to be normal, sane, stable people. Where the shackles were the heaviest. library is so much more than just a room. It's an escape. Hundreds of escape exits. There's a child who needs you. I understand this is hard. I, I understand that you're in pain. But you are a mother, for God's sake.
I don't know what you should do. But I know this. Your husband is a grown man. A grown man who swore to love you, honor you, comfort you, and keep you in sickness and in health. You know the damage the flames do better than anyone. Don't set yourself on fire to keep him warm. Practice makes perfect. I feel like it's the house that is moving around me, not me moving around the house. My head is spinning. The oh. of power. It shouldn't be so prominent in a three or maybe two year old, but I remember it clearly. The realization that the piano would do what I wanted it to. The feeling of complete control. 
From that day, I strived for it. Do you remember the saying that behind every great man stands a great woman? Your husband has the bearing of a great man. But without your help, without someone who's always there for him, who keeps the home fires, he will wither and die. You proved yourself to be a strong woman. I know you have it in you to be there for him, even now. The tragedy that hurt you, hurt him too. I know you have compassion in your heart. Reach for it. I need books. I need them to stop being me. I can't stand being me.
When I had Sebastian, I thought I would be the best mother to ever walk the earth. And it almost killed me. With Margaret, I give myself more space to breathe, to be myself. I am happier for that. And the children seem to be happier too. And I... I have to. I have to get it back. I, I have to learn to write again. I need to learn myself again. It's like I'm always bound! All 
all these hours at the piano, with a violin, with a flute. I didn't want to create art. I wanted to be art. You saw that, and it felt as if something new opened in me. I saw it open in you as well. New possibilities, new ways to make beauty. All I wanted was for her to be happy and free. Honey, wait for me! There's always a way to connect with the things we love. And this way is acceptance. Not so fast. There was one reason for her to be strong. Her little daughter. But it was all wrong. <laughs> Wait for mommy. When in darkness, try to remember that you have a daughter. You brought her into this world, and she needs you. Be strong for her, if not for yourself. They tried to play, but it was insane. To caress a child with hands bound with chain. She likes to dance, my free bird, blissfully ignorant of the prison this world is. I wish I could play something for her. I need to play something for her. Come on, sweetie. You know mommy can't go down there with you. She named it Mr. Quiet. Mr. Quiet is her favorite toy. He never screams, she told me. He never makes a sound.
spends a lot of time with her father. I don't like it, but maybe it's for the best. She should learn who her parents are. The sooner the better. She needs to be strong to survive in this prison. You made a vow after all, to be together in health and sickness. Your husband also needs a refuge, someone to rely on. Please keep going. I need to do more. If they see me playing a sonata, they, they won't lock me up. What happened to them is, of course, tragic. But it was also something that happened to you. As your relationship changes, your art will change with it. You should take extra care of yourself in this difficult period. tainted now, soaked in ever-moving shadows, the flames cast on me. They surround the cell I'm locked in, and there seems to be no escape. Yesterday, I, I played with our daughter for a while. She was a bit shy at first, but then she loosened a bit. Started to laugh and dance. I felt the happiness coming. It, it was just at the door. And then, like a guard in a prison, feeling that I might just catch a glimpse of freedom, the pain came. I saw the fear in her eyes. In her mind, I must be a maimed monster, haunting her worst nightmares. What is left of it now? Of our love, so pure, so ideal. When all I am is blood and pus. A pile of screaming flesh locked in a prison that is this house. No wonder you run towards your canvas. No wonder you love your art more than me. Today, I walked by the piano, and remembered a meeting we hosted for our friends, I think a year into our marriage. We all had a little too much wine, and I started playing Carreño. I was completely lost in music, traveling with sound through the strange, beautiful soulscapes, completely free. When I finished, nobody made a sound for a good while. Afraid to break the spell. Could the magician I was then turn into the monster I am now?
I'm sure that when she gets better, both your art and hers will reach new heights. It's just a matter of time and of her wanting to heal. I hope she picks up music again. It would be such a loss for the world if she didn't. I pray she still has it in her. Heart of our house. There was a time when I couldn't spend a day without crying, but now I don't even want to do that. It's like my emotions are locked in their own cage, and I can't even be bothered to look for the key. Playing with our daughter is usually a joyous occasion, one of few left in my life. Today, though, I had to ask her to leave almost mid-sentence. It's all these questions. How do you feel, Mommy? What do you think, Mommy? Mommy, why are you sad? What is your name, Mommy? I don't know, darling. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know anything, but the fact that my chains grow heavier every day. I feel that my soul has gone sick, and that's why I'm writing to you. It's like all my energy has gone away. It is hard to even get out of bed. Not because of the pain. I don't mind the pain as much as I used to. I just can't see the point of getting up, eating, talking to anyone, living this life in the prison my body has become.
The symptoms you're describing aren't uncommon, especially among women and artists. Being that you are both, uh, you are naturally more prone to hysteria and melancholy. I'd suggest avoiding extreme emotions and spending time in, in peaceful surroundings. In fact, we have a center for troubled women here in just over the sea. I can't help but thinking that what's happening to me is right, on some level. I deserve to be imprisoned in this body, in this house. After all, what can I bring to the outside world? Why should anyone love me, admire me, seek my company? I wrote to the doctor, declining his offer. I won't be locked up. I, I won't let them. I will get through this on my own. This is my head. Yeah. 
Pathetic, you weakling. You claim that you're perfect? Nothing would hurt you if it were the truth. Perfection is incorruptible, eternal, proud. Look at you, chasing me around like a fool. What even am I to you? My true self. I am perfect. Nothing can hurt me. This is just a test, and I'm passing it. Everything is fine. you lie to me? We prepared for your visit, you know. John and Mary were delighted to see their aunt and uncle again. And you can't imagine their, and mine, disappointment when you never came. Your husband tells me you are in no fit state to travel, and that he told you as much. That he never agreed in the first place. Please, don't write to me until you're ready to face the truth about your condition. My husband's palace. When he locked himself in there, the whole house felt like a prison cell. I'm sorry for the late answer. These letters are hard to read for me. I don't sleep, because I'm thinking about you and your misfortunes. I need a break after each letter. And when I come back to it, to write the answer, there's always a matter of deciphering. Your handwriting. I'm sure you know it's not as beautiful as it used to.
Yesterday I was woken up by, I think, the most terrible sound I've ever heard. Like a sick cat being slowly strangled. It took me a long time to realize it was the violin. She picked it up and tried to play. I think there's no coming back for her. From what you write, this whole situation is very hard for your child. Maybe you should spend less time with her. I know it's painful, but I believe it will be for the best. You both need time. I don't think you fully understand your condition. You have been in a terrible accident and you are, to be honest, lucky to be alive, not to mention writing letters, demanding of your body to come back to normal. To be healthy is like demanding a broken mirror to fix itself. Uh, you're doing great progress and you're healing, but I'm afraid things won't be back to normal. No doctor on earth can make the pain go away. I'm truly sorry to tell you that. But you will have to learn to live with it. I hope you'll understand one day. All my life, I was told to strive for perfection. And I didn't strive. I achieved it. I was the most talented musician, the most inspiring muse, the most caring mother, the perfect wife. I never accepted my own weakness as an excuse. And then it caught up to me. Now there is no coming back. The life we had. There's no use. How could they understand it if I don't? I think I just need something that will work. I need this to end. There is no coming back to the perfection I once had. No coming back to chaining myself into the roles people want me to play. 
No coming back to crushing my soul under others' expectations that I think are my own. There will be no coming back here. I'm ugly. I'm disabled. I'm useless. I'm free. Happened. I struggle with the part where daughter enters the scene. Too close to home? No, it's this place, this fucking island, this lighthouse. I was afraid and called. The generator died. I went to restart it. I know it happened. And then maybe I was I? Or I actually saw my muse and had a conversation with her. Called later. But I didn't have time for it. I knew what to write. The block was gone. I knew how to finish this book. I wanted to thank you for this book. I, I've been struggling with my vocation as an artist, and uh, reading about struggles helped me greatly in arriving at a decision. I'm at, sad man. I'm at your precious lighthouse! Yes, I am aware of that. Don't interrupt me! I'm at the lighthouse, and I know how to hurt your precious queen. I know how to break that pact. So either you bring him back, or I'll show you what I can do with words! I will warn you that it is a fruitless endeavor. I don't give a fuck about your warnings! I will destroy her. I will get him back. I will write my own story. Thought you got me? Well, guess what? I can write without you. I always could. Is this? Oh, my God. How? I guess they ended up here after the ship sank, but... his favorite wine. I thought it fitted the occasion.
congratulations on your comeback. We are delighted that after a decade, you still remember about our hermitage. Make yourself at home. I mean, after all, it is the only one you have. What the fuck? Let's get this over with!
Why are we here? They asked. Although they already knew. To build the character. To act. That was what they did for all of their lives. They did it for love. Did it because of a burning passion. A flame within them that wanted to be set free. And above all, they did it to run. To forget. To be anyone else. Everyone else. To keep the one story that mattered. The one that really happened. Unused and intact. Secret. They couldn't even recall it now. They would, though. Walking the corridors of this strange ship and the ship from their past. Remembering their first characters and why they played them. Remembering the borrowed bravery of the pirate crew. Finding out who they were before they learned to put on all the masks. In their time, they played the parts of many men. Observed others and were observed. Wore the characters as if they were second skins. Layers upon layers of people who wore their face. Now it was time to shed these skins. To meet themselves again. To remember. To choose. Listen, once you get there, just do what you have to do. Get to the set and build this character for him. That's all that matters. Yeah, yeah, I know you've told me a million times how much you hate the sea. And I'm telling you, this gig is just too good to pass up.
third class passengers this way, please. Did you check? Never met the guy in person, but few people have. That's why you hear all these rumors about him being broken or disfigured. All that nonsense.
guy's got a reputation. Makes his actors jump through hoops before he even lets him on the set. Supposed to be some new method of building the character. Bunch of artsy-fartsy bullshit if you ask me. Just go with it. Guy doesn't take no for an answer. So what if the guy's a little nuts? He's a director. He comes with a job. I mean, what's he gonna do? Kill ya? you who you should be. Do you remember who you were? Come. I will make you remember. Wake up, Mr. Hardy. We've got to get out of this godforsaken prison before we rot.
Are we, are we really going? Lily, I, I'm... That's Captain Baines to you, Mr. Hardy. Remember the name, Quartermaster, or I'll have you walk the plank. I'm back, Mahardi. Scouted out the whole area. Looks like there's a trail we can follow. A trail? Aye. Left by fellow pirates, no doubt. To lead us to a safe harbor. is Mr. Hardy, the fastest vessel ever built, ready to set sail for the land of the flame. I don't see any sails. Shh. We must make our way aboard, quietly.
fast, Mr. Hardy. Too many of them scurvy dogs to take head on. Lily, I want to go home. Quartermaster, steal yourself. Be your heart soaked in doubt, or be there a fire burning within. In the spotlight, they were safe. Their world controlled and understandable.
I know you did it. You killed her. Truth is, it was her killing me. Slowly. All this time. In the land we've seen, behind shut eyes, the one of bright shores caressed by tide, where there's no pain, no fear, no fury, no lies, there we shall stand tall, our hearts full of pride. If your dreams are bold, and by no man bound, if your soul is strong, unlike any other, able to build walls or tear to the ground, then yours is this world, my little brother. Not all lives are created equal, but one can become a vessel to carry within the flame of another. Who are we to deny it? Who are we?
This fellow is wise enough to play the fool.
obedience. It's something you should learn. What I found, Mr. Hardy. This chart will lead us away from peril and into safe harbor. It takes courage to stand up to someone stronger than you. I could never do it. I wasn't brave enough, but she was. do it himself.
What'll do? Hurry, we have to secure it. They'll be here any moment. Lily, I, I'm scared. You should be scared. You know what happens if they find us. They'll send us back. <laughs> Without me, you are just as lost as they are. We are now entering the eastern part of the borough. This particular area holds a special place in my heart as I grew up not far from here myself. A few things have changed, it seems, for better or worse. And I see children playing in the streets, not a care in their little minds. If it wasn't for their shabby clothes, one could almost forget about the crushing poverty that plagues so many of the local families. But what do we have here? A boy, sitting on a park bench, alone. Perhaps he won't mind if we pick his brain a bit. Good morning, young man. What's your name? Good morning, young man. What's your... Good morning. morning. Good man. Your morning. What's your name?
now they knew a part of the answer to the director's question before the world told them what to be. They were stowaways, hidden deep in the entrails of the beast that was the ship. They hid and fought for survival, losing more and more of themselves. Now they had to descend again into the entrails of the beast that was their own mind. Find what they lost. It was still there, buried, hidden away, locked in a vault. A prison of themselves. Deep down, there was only instinct. A need and an act. Hunger and violence. And was there also a choice? Do you remember hunger? Yeah, uh, could we take this again? Uh, <laughs> There's something wrong with the picture. I, I think you must have moved. You just don't look quite yourself. Excuse me, I'm such a big fan. Could you please sign? Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I think I mistook you for someone else.
That'll do for now. It's time to eat. Quartermaster, hand me the bag. I got the mains. The food. It's gone. You are so delicious.
the heart. Despair consumes the soul. A life crumbles. Get up, Quartermaster. What's done is done. No use crying. We need to venture forth and find some fresh supplies. Here, take this. It will help you find your strength.
Looks like the rats got to it before us. What, what was that? Shh. We're not alone here. Someone took a bite. Or something. Come, let's not wait for it to come back.
Look, there's something there. the world, Mr. Hardy. Nothing is as it seems.
one's empty too. We need to keep looking. Lily, I mean, Captain, there's something out there. In the dark. Hush now. Stay behind me. I won't let anything happen to you. Leave it, Mr. Hardy. We're not that desperate yet. James! I said leave it! One 
can outweigh the lives of many. When everything is at stake, when lives hang in the balance, reason becomes weakness. Trust. You didn't take it. You you scarf. You let it go. You regret it. You gave up. You'll never make it. She once saw this boy drown a baby rat in the gutter. She held the boy's head in the gutter till he promised to never do it again. There's always someone stronger than you. What is forever, if not merely a prolonging of misery? I would gladly give it up for a life of meaning, of purpose.
It's no good. We'll never find any food. James, look at me. And it's all my fault. I said, look at me. I am Captain Baines, the Black Wanderer, the Slayer of the Cyclops, the Seeker of the Flame. I will see us through this. Don't you ever doubt me. Maybe there's some food here. Come on, we have to go. Oh. Did you hear that? This way. James, run.
heart of the city, it beats no more. We failed them. This world never deserved us. Let's watch it burn. Together. Treasure. It's not far. This way. think you can survive without me?
Bloody roots. They had each other. You are alone. There was life before the ship. A reason for their escape. They didn't dare look back. But their past fueled them for years. They harnessed it without remembering. They transformed fear, anger, and despair into art. The art was called outstanding, haunting, unforgettable. But they did forget. They did their best to forget. And when they weren't looking, 
Their past entangled them, bound them. Their roots suffocated them, pulled them under, away from the air and the light. They had to cut them away. Only then could they be truly free. What are you doing? Here, listen. But how does it do that? A sea couldn't fit in there. It's the spirit of the sea. It captured its strength, its calm, its freedom. So it can live on forever. Come, faithful servant, for tonight we brew a ghoulish concoction, the world's strangest stew. Seasoned by sadness, burnt from within, ravaged by madness, rotten with sin. Torn up by conflict, ravaged by war, flawed on the surface, warped to its core.
hollowed by longing, hardened by loss, once slick and polished, has lost all its gloss. Jimmy, father's screening the Black Wanderer. Movie's almost over. Time to go. I told you to hide it. I told you to keep it safe. I told you to hide it. I told you to keep it safe. How could you let him take it? It's all we have left of her. 
You have to find it. You have to take it back. upon this family. I give everything, and what do I get in return? A little gratitude, a little heart. Is that too much to ask? A lucky break. An ace up my sleeve, that's all I need. to keep it safe. How could you let him take it? It's all we have left of her. You have to find it. You have to take it back. Little scum. You were always... a blackened heart. Uprooted by tragedy, skewered by pain. That's all you've ever given me? That's all you were ever good for? you to keep it safe how could you let him take it it's all we have left of her keep her close to your heart don't let her be forgotten she gave everything for you prove that it was worth it that you weren't a mistake No good to anyone. It's like I was never there. It would have been better if I was never there. Projection room soon.
I think Paul has been trying to fix his old camera. Hmm. One of the few things he still can. When the world becomes too cruel, we look for a place to hide. The dark can be many things. you make it. The dark can be a silent place. can be empty. The dark can be a lonely place. can be a sentence. It is whatever you make it. Sometimes it's better to hide, to let the dark in. This land is a wonder to be sure, but how will I ever get home? Home? Now why'd you want to go to such an awful place? Hush, it's 
already started. Come on! He'll get mad if we're not back before him. that thing I thought I knew but now I'm not sure oh Jimmy it has to take shape in your head first otherwise it'll just stay formless This is where you come in. not make this easy for you. If I am to meet my doom today, it will be by your hands, by your action. That's right. Don't hesitate. You know I wouldn't. Yes, show me you're strong, like me. As I was. Well, she is. What? Who I was a moment ago is no more. Now, I can become someone else. No one understands them. No one will understand you. Watch. This is the best part. Come. We can't stay any longer.
I know. Henceforth, I shall be Captain Baines, the Black Wanderer. But Captain Baines isn't a girl. Steady your tongue, Quartermaster. I can be whoever I choose to be. If your little mind says otherwise, then to the depths with it. Show yourself, ye one-eyed freak! I'll make ye wish ye had a spare. My hero. always there, following in my footsteps, silent, smiling sadly, like a warm shadow, always there, but never really present. Sometimes, when darkness fell across town, we'd sneak out of the house, he'd look up into the night sky, Watching the stars, but never really seeing them. What he really saw was a thousand souls on fire. His eyes would light up. The stars were already there. At that moment, I knew he had it in him. To make a thousand hearts bleed. A thousand heads turn. A thousand eyes weep. My brother, the silent dreamer, dreaming that a day would come 
when we could leave it all behind. The journey of a lifetime. A light on the horizon. A flame to call his own. Yes, he had it in him. To make a thousand souls burn. Make them feel alive. Make them live forever. A thousand lives. But never mind. Never mind. There we were, dreaming ourselves away into the night sky. When we could almost reach out and take it, a cruel shade eclipsed the sun. Our dream was gone. Something else took its place. Something vicious. Something... No. What will the Black Wanderer do now? Don't worry. One day we'll get to see how it ends. Happens. What if I can't find you? Shh. Listen to my voice. Hold it deep inside, and I will always be there for you. Forever? Forever. want to make it to the end, just remember, the monster can be scary, but it's sad too, because at the end of the day, it's just as lost as we are.
Mother, no, please. Stay out of it, Lily. Why, why can't you just, just leave us alone? You filled the boy's head with nonsense. As if it wasn't useless enough! You're... you're the one who's useless! You cruel, one-eyed freak! What did you call Get me? Get away from him! You... you monster!
father. It's today. I know. I'm going to see her. Take care of the house while I'm gone. Did you get anything for James? It's his day too. I... I had to buy something for your mother. That's all I could afford. You're just like him. There's nothing left for us here. It hurts. It hurts. It... Is it over? No, Mr. Hardy. It's only just beginning. Spirits, as in a dream, are all bound up. My father's loss, the weakness which I feel. A disturbing occurrence happened during a public reading, and the author acted strange from the start, but what happened after a particular reader's question? I came back. After a decade of glory and shame, I came back. I don't know how the fuck they knew I did, but I don't care. I will get my son back, or I will hurt them. I can write without her. I know I can. And this is... this must be the thing that hurts her, destroys her. Did this place torment you too? Pests? Why? Delusional? Metaphor? What if they were there? Light symbolism. Electric, fire, warmth, destruction, safety. Key for painting. Did it help him? Hush. We will survive this. I'll take care of you. Both of you.
one thing I won't do. Did you think your art would make you immortal? It's unwatchable now. Hi, Mama. Wh How? It's been a while, so... Just wanted to check on you. I... I'm glad you're writing again. You are? Of course. I know you. It's always been the most important thing in your life. That's... I should probably leave you to it. It's been great hearing from you. Wait, don't... Bye. Don't go! Corners in shock. You think yourself an artist? Kicking him, watching him spit blood. They were proud of themselves. You're mine. You have nothing to say. Thank you. 
voice, no characters, no talent! are empty. Underneath there is only your ego. I made you. your word. You will keep it. I will finish it. Exhibit. Recreation of exhibit opening with piano. At home. Aruborus. After all these years, they still listen to you. beginning, they used their daughter to fulfill their needs and ambitions. No wonder she grew up to be a woman she was. The Masterpiece, to be adapted for cinema. A best-selling biography of The Masterpiece is to be filmed in Hollywood, our sources say. The biography of struck the hearts of millions, and now one of the most mysterious directors in Hollywood plans to... Masterpiece?
I have to finish it. Run, but do you know the way? You build one character, you destroy the other. But which one is which? You follow reason, you see through it, you cut away the strings. You're not afraid to play your part, you accept the inevitable. Now they knew where they came from. Now they could scream themselves free. One glorious act. And then... A vast silence.
Are you not afraid of death? Some people believe in nothing, and so they live for nothing. To live without belief is more terrible than dying. Lily, Captain, I found it. But it's empty. It's all gone. Steady yourself, Quartermaster. Return to the hideout. I'll keep searching on my own. I can help. I... I said go. You and them. Both have no future without me. Go on. Be there for her. Where she was for you. are not to be played. Some
What do they seek? What do you seek? Yourself? Themselves? Why? There is only me.
Why am I always the one? Why weren't you there? Why didn't you protect me? Why did you let this monster?
still here. This is not the end. This pain will pass. The scars will fade. at her. <sighs> She's got her whole life ahead of her. Will it be years? <laughs> or just minutes? You're insane! <sighs> I'm having a, a conversation you cannot hear. <sighs> They were mine. You let this monster!
We were meant to live forever. And I will. I will be forever. I will be. I will. Lily, please come back. I need you. <laughs> oh, he hello? My, my name is James. What's yours? weight of this sad time we must obey. Speak what we feel, not what we ought to say. Funny name. Can you help me find my sister?
was drowning in a sea of thirst. I was feasting, but never full. You, my teeth are yours to bear. She's been gone a long time. I'm scared something happened to her. I, I didn't mean to. She told me to go back. No, stop it. It's not true. Of all my riches, I sailed the sea of nothingness. My debt to you, I will repay. Here is my pound of flesh.
But for you, I swallow my pride. Right, it is my fault. Yes, I can still save her. She can live on forever. Show me the way. I'll do what needs to be done. I'm the captain now. So, Captain, we will follow you across the seven seas.
forever. She lied to me. 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 Hear it? Lily, what if something bad happens? What if I can't find you? Shh. Listen to my voice. Hold it deep inside. And I will always be there for you. Forever?
Tell me, James, do you like sitting here in the park? I... I don't know. You don't know? I... I think I do. Out here, I could be anyone. Truly? You can be anyone you want? I... I think I don't need to be. I can play anyone I want. Have I offended you, James? No, I just... You just don't want to talk to me anymore? I... I don't know what I want. They say that the team's trying to... Team's Star. He has really can come true. Are dreams what's really important to you? Mm-hmm. Your dreams can stay with you. Forever. Run, but do you know the way? You build one character, you destroy the other. Which one is which? You follow reason, you see through it, you cut away the strings. You're not afraid to play your part, you accept the inevitable. You struggle against the current, you fight against all odds. Ah. Now they knew why they feared freedom, why they hid, flowed with the tide, and pretended to be one with the void inside them. Now in place of the void, there was a sea, restless, roaring, terrifying. Once they saw it, once they lit a flame in their soul, there was no turning back, no other way. Again, they felt the eyes of eternity upon them. They were here before. They faced that choice in the past. They felt the stare. Now, for the first time, they stared.
you see now? You tried to fix me. Instead, you broke yourself.
Poor little Jimmy. Poor, weak, pathetic little Jimmy. Always the victim. Always the burden. An anchor dragging me down. Sometimes, it's better not to be, to burn away completely. There's no place for me here. Only you, whoever that is. I hope you'll be brave this time. I don't think I can. I cannot. You, you cannot help me. Not anymore.
forever. And so will you. Sometimes, it's better to find your own way, to accept what was lost, to accept the pain, and feed your own fire. Wouldn't it be better if you just went away?
many times have I tried to put the pieces back together? Just to watch them fall apart. to ash. How could you go? Of all the wasted years, of all the pain it took to bring you here, you don't even know who you are. Thank <laughs> you. 
You run, but do you know the way? You build one character, you destroy the other. Which one is which? You follow reason, you see through it. You cut away the strings. You're not afraid to play your part. You accept the inevitable. You struggle against the current, you fight against all odds. In the end, there is no right or wrong. There is only James! Lily! James! Listen to me! You have to go! No! I'm not leaving! I'll, I'll find a way to reach you! I know you will! You're strong! Stronger than you know! We'll be together again! No matter how long it takes, I will find you! I will! Looking for answers, for purpose long gone, we carry on and on and on. What, what cruel part, part we have to play, to, to live on, on once they went, went away. A vast, Mr. Hardy, a vast. What's gone is gone. What's past is past. For there are things that should not be. And there are wounds that time won't heal. When all seems lost, when all is gone, we do not have to carry on. To put, to put away, away what sadness is wrought. Set your aim and take your shot. shot. Ah! Just as I thought. A mother long gone. A sister's last breath. A life for a life. A death for a death. The flame that burns the lies away. The truth revealed. Let come what may. Lay your head down, brother. Go to sleep. This vow is no longer yours to keep.
Forever is a very long time, James. You think you can take it? I... One dreams of forever. But when the eyes of eternity are upon him, how far can he go? How deep can he descend? Once a flame has been lit, there's no other way. Yes. Too soon to let go. Too late to turn back. You're a brave lad, James. I hope you will find what you're looking for. than you think. You always believe that words have the power to set free. And you were right. I think you should stay here. No, 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 no. Focus on your writing.